Army of the Dead is the new film by Zack Snyder, and today we're going to be talking about it. Is it any good, or is it another Zack Snyder slob fest? Let's start this video by talking about Zack Snyder himself. He's had a pretty big year with the release of the Snyder Cut, and I'll be honest and come out and say it, I'm not a fan of his style. He strikes me as a massive artiste, basically just thinking if you add in a load of slow motion and Bible imagery, it makes your film deep. I mean, this guy wanted to call Batman v Superman, son of son, night of night. How poetic. But luckily, Army of the Dead is a film where he just lets all of that go and just has a fun time, which is something I really appreciate. His visuals have always been obviously really striking, so it's good to see it in a more self-aware movie where the visuals just heighten the sense of fun that the movie has. And Army of the Dead is definitely a lot of fun. The two and a half hour runtime flies by. You've got some good performances, you've got some good action, again, good cinematography, and some really good music choices. But the problem with this film is the screenplay, which really lets it down. First of all, while the second two acts may fly by, the first act is kind of hard to sit through. It shows Zack Snyder's limitations as a writer where he can't really put across really emotional scenes or in-depth characters. And when so much of the first act is based around the characters and we don't really get into the action yet, you really feel it. Really, there is only one emotional scene that doesn't really fall flat and that's the ending, but the rest of the film, any emotional moment just comes completely out of nowhere and it really takes you out of the plot. And the film definitely has its fair share of bad dialogue and dumb moments. There was more than a few times where I was rolling my eyes at what someone said or the fact that there was a new plot progression that didn't make sense. It just felt like Zack Snyder schlock all over again. But talking about the one emotional moment that did land, I found the ending pretty emotionally potent and I didn't expect that. I enjoyed the arc of Dave Bautista's character where he's had all of these opportunities for love with his best friend and his daughter and he's just thrown them out of the way. It's a good arc where he goes from only caring about money to being motivated by saving his family and ultimately making the biggest sacrifice. But here's the thing, this is where the screenplay makes this film a little bit hard to watch, because the final emotional climax does work, but in order to get to it, his daughter has to be an absolute idiot. There's one scene that perfectly encapsulates how I feel so conflicted about this film. In the scene where Guzman's friend dies, he doesn't have any sort of emotional reaction outside the 30 seconds afterwards, and it seems like there should be this huge conflict with this other guy that never goes anywhere with him. But at the same time, I do enjoy seeing Guzman just killing loads of zombies and making loads of jokes. It is entertaining to watch. And because of that, I feel like I can only give this film a 6 out of 10. And that's a shame because I want to rate it higher. This is definitely the most fun by far that I've ever had watching a Zack Snyder film. And granted, I haven't seen 300 or Watchmen or the Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahul, but I was pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed this one. He's definitely a much better director than he is a writer. I mean, even the visual comedy works way better than the scripted comedy. The opening sequence set to Viva Las Vegas where you just see all of these zombie kill moments actually made me laugh quite a lot and way harder than any of the jokes that any of the characters told. Yes, it's cliche, yes, it's dumb, but at the end of the day, Zack Snyder's direction as much as I hate to say, really does raise this thing and brings it up to a 6 out of 10 for me. Whereas with a lesser director, this script would really fall apart. So guys, let me know, what did you think about Army of the Dead? Comment below and leave a like and subscribe while you're down there and I'll see you soon.